Okay, in the last episode, right, you watched this funny video that I came up with, like I introduced this in that residence unit, then I said this is how good, how good, how good, okay. So this is actually the part two of that that uh, video, that first video. Okay, why do I say part two is that every time you walk into the house, right, actually the job of, your job, right, is to feel the house and see what you want to see and identify the pro and cons and some of the problems that you may meet in the future if you buy the house so instead of you getting so distracted right actually sometimes when you go in right as a buyer myself i actually prefer the agent to not talk okay i prefer the agent to not introduce the house uh, not talk just uh, give me the time and the comfort to actually walk around and feel the house and see what i want to see then when i have a question i will ask the agent i feel that that is better for me as a buyer so a lot of times right but a lot of times you don't get that kind of agent you go in you'll get the agent trying to introduce the house trying to introduce the location and to the end of the viewing okay so as a buyer sometimes you get very distracted because I have buyers that go viewing with me. Then we went in the the seller agent start to talk, 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 talk. then by the time they finish talking, right, when you come out, my buyer is like, "Hey, shit! I forgot to see this thing. Uh, I forgot to see that thing." Because sometimes maybe there's some negative things, but the agent try to bring it through or try to sweep you through. But the thing is, buying a house is a very big thing. It's a it's a not a small ticket item. So. They take this very seriously, like buyers, everyone take this seriously, lah, you know, so you wouldn't want like to be swept through during that whole process. So actually what you should do as a buyer, right, you have to go in and feel the house. If you really don't feel that the agent talking is going to help you, you should ignore the agent, okay? I mean, I don't know whether this is the right advice or not, but I feel that you should, since buying a house is an important decision and listening to the agent is not helping you. Maybe you should ignore the agent and tell the agent that I would like to look at the house myself. Because I can tell you frankly, you don't know where's the kitchen, man. You don't know where's the master bedroom, man. You don't know where's the toilet, man. You cannot identify a toilet and a dining room, man. You know, so you can, what? everyone can. So you have to take your time and look at what you want to see. Some people like to look at the kitchen. Some people like to look at the living room. Some people like to look at the view. Some people like to look at the master bedroom. So take your time look at what is the fittings and fixture in the house so number one look at what is the fittings and fixture in the house because that will be the condition that you will be taking over when the seller move out so you have to consider what is the fittings and fixture in the house do you need to renovate this do you need to remove this do you need to hack this because these are all extra costs that are going to incur later the second thing you have to really look into is the view because that view is something that is going to stay there for months, years, or is that view going to disappear in the next few years? So you have to be able to identify such things. So also you some people will care about the 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 sun, the facing, whether is it west facing, whether it is facing, whether is it north facing. So concentrate on the view and the direction. Okay, this is important. Third thing, third thing feel the house when i mean feel the house right means you go in right you need to try to identify and try to imagine that if you were to buy this place where would you like to put your own tv where would you like to put your own uh, sofa set what kind of table would you like to put what kind of renovation would you like to do how would you want to decorate your master bedroom how would you want to uh, is the space uh, good for you to uh, create your own toilet layout or your own dream toilet you know so you need to go in and be able to identify all these things if you can't then it means that you don't like the house lah. it means that this house is not for you lah, you know so these are the three main pointers that people often forget or people often uh, miss out because when they go in people the agent the seller agent start to introduce them the way the seller agent wants it so a lot of times I feel that like really really see how like you really have to be in your own comfort zone see what you want to see identify the main three pointers and also try to have a good feel of the house if you feel that the house is not good or you don't like the house the feeling is you don't like the house one but when you like the house you go in right the feeling is different so there's not much technique to viewing houses 
But what I'm trying to share with you is how you can focus on the right thing and try to uh, not focus on that agent, on the seller agent, okay? This is what I feel, okay? So that's it for today's video. Uh, uh, this is also why I, I did that part one video because sometimes you go in, right? You just realize that after the whole viewing, right? Everything that the agent tell you is good, but you may not think so. So you get very... Uh, confused or you, you you didn't manage to focus on the right things that you want to see in the house okay and and every house that you enter right you see a different kind of seller agent so every seller agent will have their own ways right of introducing the house so sometimes you just get very confused over it you know and and actually they introducing the house may not be helping you in your decision also okay so that's it for today's video <laughs> hit the like button subscribe button uh, if you feel that there's anything that I should talk about or you feel that you have some comments to this video, please feel free to type your comments below and I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!